Good afternoon, I'm meteorologist Diane Phillips. I hope you've enjoyed the sun because we have had a full day of it and that will continue on until sunset, though we have had quite a bit of rainfall lately, so we will take some blue skies, though the rain was much needed. Well, it's nice to have a dry day here or there as well. So here in Perrysburg, just a couple of clouds is what we have, but we'll continue to see more sun than the cloud covers. Same look here on our Jet Express cam. You're going to find, though, that our winds are lighter today, so the water not going to be so choppy for those who are going to be out and maybe taking a little bit of a break from the heat, but plenty of sun, so don't forget your sunscreen, sunglasses, sun hats. You know the drill. We're halfway through uh, what seems to be our summer season, so we are no strangers to the sunny weather. Now the clouds, however, we will have them here or there. They'll actually continue to be here for the afternoon and into the evening. You are going to find that, well, the clouds do start to build because, well, the dry weather isn't going to last all that long. But before we get there, looking at our daily almanacs this morning, low temperatures very close to where we should be on average. Highs only going to continue to climb. So so we will find those to be into the 80s. The average high this time of year is around 87 degrees. But check out this record. We set this back in 1988, which you'll remember was one of those hot and dry summers. 103 degrees was the record set on this day. We don't have that, though, in today's forecast, but some summer heat. We're still going to have some July like weather in your forecast. As far as all the rainfall, taking a look at your radar, you're going to find things are pretty quiet here. Queen, clean swipe here on your Doppler radar. Things are just, well, giving us a little bit of break in the rain department, but still to come. We do have a little bit of wet weather, though our Thursday is dry. Friday, we do have the rain chances returning. But for the weekend, thankfully, the atmosphere is timing out our weather pattern to where weekends are looking dry and also sunny. We've been dealing with a lot of humidity lately as well. We do have low humidity in your forecast for Saturday and Sunday. So that's some nice weather to look forward to, considering that we have a lot of uh, events here for the summer, festivals, fairs, and also garden tours. You're going to really enjoy having a nice, dry, and comfortable forecast. But we do still have to get through some rainfall before we get to the weekend. The hour by hour forecast is going to show a few clouds here or there, but they really don't start to thicken until about daybreak tomorrow morning. You can see that they try to move in a little bit closer, but then threatening towards our west is the beginnings of the rainfall that will move in here during that late morning, early afternoon time frame. So around lunch, that's when we're going to start to see some showers. But what we're watching with this system is that it's actually going to just ride off towards our southwest. So if you're in Putnam County, Hancock County, you're going to have the best chance for picking up that rainfall into the afternoon and evening, but the heaviest of rain is actually going to be out of northwest Ohio. Still, though, plan on some rain chances to just grace by us on Friday. If you have evening plans, should have no problem as the system should hover off towards our south. So even by Saturday morning, though we will start the day with quite a bit of cloud cover, we are going to keep the forecast dry for both Saturday and into Sunday. You know, rain total, some of us have seen quite a bit. Some could use a little bit more. And looking at this map from that system that is going to bring the rainfall in, well, it's not going to add up very much. I know some of you maybe want to see a little bit more in some spots, but with the majority of that rain, again, going to be out of our area, that means that we are going to see those rain totals on the lighter end. So just plan on those showers, maybe a thunderstorm or two to move through, but they really aren't going to be carrying the buckets of rainfall that we have seen. Now, rain chances, like I said, the weekend looking dry, so we will hit the pause on the rain, but thankfully we aren't going to continue that trend. We are still trying to stay on that rain trend after a dry June. So we do have 30% chance of rain in for Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. So hopefully we can get a little more of a balance in our forecast, not only seeing some dry sunny days like we have today, but also then getting those healthy amount of rainfall that we need for our crops, plants, gardens. Maybe then we don't have to use the hose or the uh, watering can as often. Now your, your dining forecast, of course, getting back out since we don't have to worry about rain chances, plan on temperatures to be fairly consistent holding into the lower 80s. If you're going to have that early dinner around 4 o'clock or a later dinner around 8 o'clock, you'll have no problems, though, getting that grill out this evening. 
Summer temperatures, we've had the heat. We've been no strangers to 90s. We've seen about a week of 90s in June. As far as July, we are going to make a run for 90 degrees on Monday. Highs, we're forecasting those just at 89 degrees. But let's also enjoy this weekend. Lows are going to go from 81, that quick jump on Monday. And then we will start to see them settle down back into the lower 80s as we head towards next weekend. So comfortable conditions, dry weather. We're looking ahead to next Saturday and Sunday. Our conditions should be quite nice by then. The weekend itself, though, plenty of sun in for both days. Highs on Saturday going to be into the lower 80s and then a little bit warmer on Sunday. You'll find temperatures to be around 84 degrees. The entire forecast, though, looking a little more balanced and also July like. Of course, we do have the chance to see uh, some conditions that are going to be into the 80s in the coming days. And so make sure you take advantage of using that WTOL 11 weather app. That is going to be a helpful tool for us. You're going to want to give that a download. All you have to do is search WTOL 11 weather, and then you can track the rainfall that we have for your Friday, but also you will have that hourly forecast right at your fingertips. So make sure you're staying updated, not only for Friday, but of course, always keeping an eye ahead on those weekend forecasts. Thanks for tuning in again. I'm meteorologist Diane Phillips.